So I've been getting a few questions as to how I ran the cable through the desktop supercharger here. So I'm probably going to get to be a pro at it because I ordered a black cable and I've probably done this two or three times now. So I'm going to show you guys real quick how I took it apart. Don't know if that's how it's intended. It looks that way, but then again, Tesla gave us no um, manual on how to do this. So what I did is on either side of this, once I flipped it upside down, I just kind of pushed my thumbs up on that and that caused that to come out. So you set that aside. Now, the other thing that I did is around here, there's kind of a lip that you can get a fingernail or a coin or something into. And so I just grabbed onto one side of it and peeled it back. So the supercharger disassembles into a few parts. So you've got the main front, you've got the inner chamber there. Let me move those over so they're easier to see. And then this side also comes off with a metal thing and then you've got that. So interestingly enough, one of the sides has the red built in and one side doesn't. And then it just relies on the uh, Tesla logo right there. Another couple things to note is when you put these back together, one side, the half that has the top, has three little pins. And the other half has no top, but it has three places to put those little pins. So I'm going to put this together. Um, I kind of need both hands, and I'm going to get that going uh, to do that. So first thing I'm going to do is put the uh, metal channel back in where it goes. And if you look at the bottom of this, there is a little notch where that lines up. Just like that slides right in there. So that's what kind of holds that on there. Same thing with the next side. And we'll put that in there. The one thing I did notice is that when you get going, there's really no place to run the cable. That's easy to do that. So what I did is just ran it inside this metal channel. It kind of makes it a um, bit difficult putting everything back together, but I think it's worth it. So I'll put that back in here and make sure all that seats up. So then what I'm going to do, the other thing that I did is when I put mine together, put it all the way up there wrapped the cable around here, but then I made sure that when I made a loop up here, I wrapped to the top, so that technically gives me a little more length out of the cable. And so then I came and put my cable in here and seated it in through here. So there we go, so that cable's in there. And you can just kind of pop out the bottom to get it in there all the way. And then while holding all of this together somehow with your hand, you feed this cable here out the bottom then you grab your um, top that goes on here and line up those pins up at the top and then make sure everything's kind of in place as you just kind of work down the supercharger clipping things in till you get to the bottom so then that cables hanging out here so then the other thing you want to do is on the side that's open is going to go down but you're going to essentially take your USB cable or your other end and put it through the smooth top open piece down and feed it all the way through until it gets to the bottom and then this will slide up further than you really want it to if you force it too hard and so just enough to give it a little click on there um, and then that goes up there this obviously goes into the wall or into a battery pack that you might have. Um, but that's how you put together the desktop supercharger. The other thing to note, as I just did it wrong here, there's a little notch here. That's for the cable. So let's pop it and spin it. Popped and spun. So now that cable goes out exactly the way that it should. And Tesla's included a little bit of adhesive there so you can stick it to something. I'm not sure how permanent that adhesion is but that's the desktop supercharger so you can put that down and plug in anything you want let's see if i can get a this is obviously not the scale but another little supercharger and plug in your car enjoy